few moments later. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Netta. Nice to meet you if you're new, if you're not. Thank you for watching again. Today's video is going to be a video of me showing you what I take in my nurse bag to work. I don't take a lot of stuff to work because I just don't like a lot of stuff in my possession at one time. Like, you know, if I feel like I'm not gonna use it while I'm at work, I don't really like to take it. So I just like to, you know, really be simple. Like, be simple. Don't be complicated. <laughs> so if you're interested in knowing what I take with me to work, then keep watching. This is one of my nursing bags that I take to work with me. I have a black one, but I don't really carry that one no more because it's big. But anyways, yeah, so I purchased this boot bag from Walmart. I'm real simple. It don't take a lot. So I purchased this one at Walmart. I think it was like 15 or something like that, $20. Real inexpensive and it has one, two, three, four. Four spots that you can put your stuff in. And it's lightweight, so I recommend this book bag. Or just get in your book bag, period. Because you can, like, you can fit a lot of stuff in this. I'm going to start from the bottom. Okay, in here, I don't really have too much. I just have, like, Lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss. I don't care if we gotta wear these masks. These lips gotta have some gloss on them or some, or some chapstick. You know, like Vaseline. If you grew up country, you know what putting Vaseline on your lips feel like. This is it, okay? That's all you need. Cause even though we wear masks now, y'all, like you still gotta take care of your skin. What else I got here? I just got a little pen. This is probably the pen that I'm gonna use at work all night. I don't like a lot of markers and stuff because I don't use that stuff. Anyway, in this section, I have like your lady products when it's that time of the month, lady. Men, disregard this part. Well, no, men, you need to listen to it because if you got a woman that's a nurse, you need to pack her bag and make sure it's safe full leave, okay, when it's that time of the month. Thank you, period. Anyways, put you some tampons. I don't care, you know, if it's not that time of the month, you just always want to be stacked. You always want to have this kind of stuff because what would the odds be you be at work and she just decided to pop on early? What you going to do then? Because I know you don't want to put on them, um, them pads they have for them patients. For real? You gonna put that on? Anyways, get you some of these. If you wear pads, make sure you got some of them. And then make sure you got you some, I don't know if that's folks or not, but these is just some um, panty limes. When you use bathroom, put them on. That's it, that's all I put up in there. Like I said, I keep it real simple. I don't like a lot of stuff. I just take what I need. This is what I have in the next one. It is my stethoscope. Now, as you can tell, pink is one of my favorite colors. Okay. So, it's just like, I think it's like a rose gold pinkish you always want to make sure you take your stethoscope um i haven't really been using my stethoscope too much i really try to use the ones that's at the hospital if i'm working on covid but if i'm not working on a covid unit i still you know i'm not really using my stuff right now and if i do have to use it i'm making sure i'm wiping it down like you know with the sandy cloth <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them little purple wipes. You can even use the, the orange wipes. You just can't let it touch nothing. You just gotta let it sit out till it dry all the way. But you can use that too, whatever. But make sure you bleaching this down like with wipes. 
and just making sure you just wiping it all around it. Like, I don't care if you're gonna use it on one person, make sure you clean it. And if you see, I have um, tape. I almost need a new one, but I keep tape around my stethoscope because if you're a nurse and you've been working, you know tape is like, when you need tape, you need tape. Like you could be in a room and a patient done tried to get out the bed or, you know, they yanked on the IV a little bit on accident, you know, by mistake, and you need to save it. So what you need right then, you need tape. Keep you some tape. If you got some tape, you straight. Make sure you put you some tape on your stethoscope. Period. I don't take makeup to work. Um, just because it's not my thing and I don't like having stuff on my face for long periods of time. So I don't, I don't wear makeup to work. Now, if I, the, like I said, the only thing I take and put on my face is my lip, my lip gloss. Like, you don't want to be walking around with chapped lips. Then we can't even breathe under these masks. So no, double trouble. I'm trying to help you. I don't pack makeup because I don't use it at work. Um. But in the event that I did, I would probably put it in, you know, probably this one with my sanitary stuff. My top portion that's the biggest, um, I take my water bottle. It's sweat resistant, so it don't matter if I put ice in my water before I leave for work. It's not gonna sweat, it's not gonna leak over my other stuff that's in my bag. So that's why I like this one. Um, and I, I got this one from Walmart, I think, and it wasn't even expensive. It was probably like five to $6, $7, something like that. But I've been had it for a while. You always wanna make sure that you have, you know, some type of water on you while you're working so you can stay hydrated while you're working. But the only thing about drinking a lot of water and, and working a 12 hour shift is you will not stay out the bathroom and your bladder is going to explode if you know you get tied up and you're too busy with your patients to empty your bladder. Girl, it's happened to me and it hurt. But you just want to make sure you're flushing out your system while you're working and stuff like that. You know, just staying hydrated because your body needs H2O. Always drink you some water. I like to take my planner. This is just a planner that I bought. Where did I buy this at? Was it Walmart? It probably came from Walmart. I'm not sure because I done had this for over a year now, so I really can't remember where I bought it. But it's really, really nice. Especially like if you have like a lot of stuff going on outside of work that you trying to keep up with and you need to juggle that. This is great because since I'm in nurse practitioner school now, I have to make sure that I'm not working on days that, you know, we might have to have a clinical or, you know, something like that. So this helps me plan ahead and it just keeps me updated and keep me on track because, girl, I be having too much stuff going on and you don't want to get behind. Every moment does matter. So you got to live life to the fullest and take life one day at a time. Here you just have like stickers and stuff. I don't use this stuff. I take a planner to work just so I can look at my stuff if I feel like I need to. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you if you are a nurse or even if you're in nursing school, this is some stuff that you can pack. You can take this kind of stuff and still go about your day, still get everything you need done. Now, if you're in school and you have to take books, of course, take your books too, but I'm just showing you how to pack life basically and what I take to work with me every time that I work. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you hit the notification link so that way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching. Bye.